Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Miss Carol and this week we've been reading some gardening books and today I'm going to be reading you a book about a very unusual garden. It's called Murgatroyd's Garden and I think you can see from the picture on the cover where it is growing. So we will read Murgatroyd's Garden together and there's lots of wonderful, wonderful things going on in the pictures so I hope you get a chance to look at them carefully. Murgatroyd's Garden by Judy Zavos and Drejos Zak did the pictures. Now you can see Murgatroyd. Murgatroyd's Garden. There is Murgatroyd. You can see he has quite a head of hair. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Murgatroyd. Murgatroyd lived with his mommy and daddy in a nice house in a big city. He was a very happy boy. He had lots of lovely things to play with, and his mommy and daddy loved him very much. There was only one problem. He hated, hated, hated having his hair washed. Every time his mommy or daddy said, Come along, Murgatroyd, it's time we washed your hair, he would start to scream. Now, Murgatroyd's screams were not like any screams you've ever heard. They were amazing. They were so piercing that they sounded like a million little boys screaming. They were so fierce they sounded like a million lions roaring. And they were so loud that people could hear them everywhere. You want to see people everywhere, all over the place, hearing those screams? Everyone was getting headaches. They were buying earmuffs to keep out the sound. They could hear Murgatroyd's screams across the road and down the street, and even in the next neighborhood. They could hear them in the next city, which was a long, long way away. The mayor was giving an important speech in the council chamber when the screams grew so loud that nobody in the audience could hear what he was saying. The queen heard them as she was getting ready for a very important occasion. She was so surprised she dropped her crown and broke it. There it is. The president was just getting ready to board the presidential jet when he heard the screams. He thought it was the noise of the plane taking off and in his hurry to get on board, he dropped all his important papers. There they are. Murgatroyd's mommy and daddy started getting very nervous. The mayor, the queen, and the president were sending them urgent messages demanding that they stop the screaming. But what could they do? They begged and begged Murgatroyd to let them wash his hair without screaming. They offered to make special Murgatroyd hair wash goggles for him. They offered to make special Murgatroyd shampoo for him. They promised him that they would be very gentle. But Murgatroyd continued to scream. One day it got so bad that the mayor called a special meeting with the queen and the president and all their special advisors. What shall we do? He, they asked each other. They talked and thought and thought and talked all through the night. Finally, the mayor had a bright idea. If Murgatroyd hates having his hair washed so much, he said, then let us ask his parents to stop washing his hair. So an urgent telegram arrived at Murgatroyd's house. No more hair washes by order of the mayor, it read. Murgatroyd's mommy and daddy were very upset. Murgatroyd's hair will be filthy, they said. Murgatroyd just smiled. One week went by, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody could believe how peaceful it was without those screams. Babies were sleeping right through the night. Cats and dogs snoozed from bedtime till breakfast time. People threw away their aspirins and their earmuffs. In the tenth week of peace and quiet, something very strange happened. Murgatroyd started to grow a garden on his head. Do you know why? His hair had become so dirty that things started to grow in it. At first, nobody worried very much about it. Murgatroyd's mommy just picked the flowers and put them in vases. Soon the house was overflowing with flowers. 
Then there were so many flowers that the neighbors started to pick them too. People came from all over the city to pick the lovely flowers from Murgatroyd's garden. Soon, Murgatroyd became very famous again. People from all over the country heard about the amazing garden which was growing on a little boy's head. Garden experts said, what rubbish, gardens grow in gardens, not on heads. Nobody could believe it. People came from all over the world to see for themselves. The garden grew bigger and bigger. Car carrots, potatoes, and beans started to grow. And one day an apple tree appeared. Soon little birds started to tweet in the branches. As the garden grew bigger and bigger, Murgatroyd grew smaller and smaller. Do you know why? The garden was too heavy for him. His little legs couldn't take the weight of all those trees and vegetables and flowers, and they started to crumple underneath him. Do you see him there? Yes. Murgatroyd just sat there day after day, getting more and more miserable. While the flowers grew prettier and prettier, the carrots and apples got bigger and juicier, all kinds of animals made themselves at home in the undergrowth, and the birds twittered happily in the trees. Do you see everything going on in that garden? A lot of stuff happening in that garden. Even Murgatroyd got worried. His mommy and daddy were terribly worried. Soon there would be all garden and no Murgatroyd. They rang up the mayor and the queen and the president and told them what had happened. Everyone agreed that the garden had to go. So Murgatroyd's mommy and daddy got busy shooing away the birds and animals, chopping down the juicy apple trees, digging up the yummy carrots, potatoes and beans, and pulling out all the lovely flowers. Then they went out to buy earmuffs and aspirin. Then, what do you think they did? What do you think they did? Anybody have a guess? What did they do? They washed Murgatroyd's hair, of course, and something very surprising happened. Murgatroyd was so pleased to be able to stand up straight again that he actually thanked his mommy and daddy for washing his hair. Thank you, Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. I like my hair clean. I promise I'll never scream again, he said. And he didn't. And now Murgatroyd is as tall and straight as you. He still lives happily with his Mommy and Daddy in a nice house in a city not far from here. And his hair is lovely and clean. So maybe this will just... Uh, inspire you not to have a garden on your head, but to have a garden outside, plant a garden in the garden. And if you want to read a couple of other books about crazy baths and crazy um, people who don't want to take baths, there's a wonderful chapter in um, uh, Mrs. Pigglewiggle. Sorry, I had a hard time remembering that book. Mrs. Pigglewiggle. It's a wonderful book, by the way, about an old lady who lives in a house that's upside down and all the kids come to her house uh, to play. And uh, one of the things she does is has cures for, for children who don't do things they're supposed to do, like take baths. And one of the cures is what's called the radish cure. And as you might imagine, a child doesn't take a bath, want, want to take a bath, and she says to the parents, just let the child get dirty. And when the child is dirty enough, you can plant some radish seeds. So I'll put a link so you'll be able to find that book. And uh, I will look for it. I'll put some other uh, links at the bottom of this video as well. And I hope to see you again soon for another book and some more ideas of things you might do. Uh, and I hope you wash your hair without screaming and waking the whole neighborhood. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.